How will Starfield handle gas giants and black holes? Gas giants and black holes are going to be in this game, I have zero doubt about that. In a game that spans across a thousand different planets and over 100 solar systems, we will most definitely be seeing gas giants and black holes in this game. I mean, we know that Sol, our very own solar system, will be in Starfield, and Sol has four gas giants in itself. So we have to ask the question, how will Bethesda handle gas giants and black holes in this game? Real quick, if you are new around here and you want to stay up to date on quite literally every single piece of Starfield news, leaks, speculation and so much more, consider subscribing because I really cover everything Starfield around here, along with plenty of other games such as Fallout and Elder Scrolls, and if you're looking for a place to talk openly about Starfield and share your excitement and opinions, you can consider joining our Discord too. The link is in the pinned comment below and the description of this video. I also want to quickly point out that I am quite sick at the moment, so if I sound a little rough in this video, that's why but with that said let's get straight into it because I've been wanting to talk about this particular subject for a very long time. The first thing we obviously need to talk about is that gas giants are extremely dangerous. In simple terms a gas giant is just an extremely large planet with a rocky and molten core topped with thick layers of hydrogen and helium depending on its current state. Basically in short you cannot land on gas giants. At the very best you could maybe find a way to fly through them 300 years in the future future, but that's where things in Starfield get interesting. So what I'm saying is gas giants are just way too dangerous to land on, at least for us in real life. So there is a good chance Bethesda could just say, oh yeah, 300 years into the future, gas giants are child's play compared to other things that we found in space. Which would be kind of cool, because man, I want to explore some gas giants. However, we need to keep in mind that Starfield is supposed to be hard sci-fi, at least a little. Meaning Bethesda have tried to keep this game as realistic as possible, while still giving it a little bit of a fantasy element. For example, we still need fuel to make our spaceships go, that's obviously kind of realistic, but at the same time we have straight up laser weapons and jetpacks, so you get what I'm saying. So what direction will Bethesda take when it comes to gas giants and black holes, which we'll talk about later. Again, and I cannot emphasize this enough, you need to understand that gas giants are so dangerous that in real life, if we got even a little bit close to one, our ships would just get torn apart. In my opinion, the best thing Bethesda could do is use gas giants as a sort of backdrop when we fly through space. Maybe put a couple of landing sites or space stations like outposts or something like that near them, but that's it. Maybe we can land on a nearby satellite and send a mining probe into the atmosphere to collect resources for us, but I really don't see them doing much else. We also know for sure that we won't be able to fly through gas giants, whether it would tear your ship apart or not, Starfield will not have atmosphere flight. Landing and taking off on a planet and the moons are cutscenes, that has been confirmed time and time again. So again, landing on a nearby satellite station or the gas giant's moon even, and collecting the gas giant's resources with a probe or at least something along those lines, simply makes the most sense, at least to me. Now look, just like I said earlier, Bethesda could very easily just say, look, 300 years into the future, we can land on and explore gas giants. It doesn't have to make sense. And I guess that would be fine as long as they give it a little bit of an explanation. I mean, is it that much more unrealistic than space pirates, laser weapons, jetpacks, and dinosaurs wearing armor? No, not really. This is a video game. It's not going to be overly realistic, otherwise the game would fucking suck. If Starfield was super realistic, it would take us in real life years just to travel from one planet to another. So while yes, Starfield is going to be quite grounded and as realistic as it can be, there will still be a lot of these fantasy elements. So again, Bethesda could just let us land on gas giants. I just don't think they're going to, and the same thing goes for black holes. Obviously, we can't land on black holes anyway, there's nowhere to land on, but if you get even a little bit close to a black hole, much like a gas giant, you'd basically just die and there's really no way around that. So what happens if we fly a little bit too close to a black hole in Starfield? Will we just get sucked in and die? I really have no idea how Bethesda will handle these two things, but look, Starfield has to have gas giants and black holes, it just has to. If the game was set in one solar system and we had five or six planets to explore, you know, kind of like the outer worlds for example, not having gas giants and black holes would be fine because you can just say, oh you know, this particular solar system just doesn't have them. And like I said, that's absolutely fine, but when you set your game across a hundred different solar systems and over a thousand different planets, you can't use that excuse because one of these solar systems is bound to have at least one gas giant or one black hole. 
so Bethesda absolutely need to include them in this game and obviously figure out how they're going to work. I'm sure that they have a very good way. Or maybe it's just something simple, maybe if we're getting too close to a black hole, our ship will play a warning or an alarm sound telling us to turn around and if we don't we just simply die. Even if we can't interact with black holes, I still think they need to be there even if they are pointless. And of course the same thing goes for gas giants and even smaller things like asteroid fields and shattered planets or moons. But anyway guys, that is really all I have to say on the matter. So let me know in the comments below how you think Bethesda should handle gas giants and black holes in Starfield. You know I love hearing all of your ideas and speculation again if you are new around here and you want to stay up to date on starfield or fallout or elder scrolls news leaks discussions speculation and plenty of other content consider subscribing because we really do cover it all over here we are also really close to 2,000 subscribers, so your support would truly mean the world if you do subscribe. Draw the video a like if you haven't already, consider joining our Discord, and with all of that said, thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next one.